I think that uh, the basic problem with patents is that uh, you're trying to ascribe a property right to something that doesn't deserve a property right. Um, the, the fact that these property rights end up in the hands of financial owners as opposed to the original inventors just exacerbates the problem. But the basic problem is that, you know, Chris and a bunch of engineers are sitting at Hunch, you know, designing some amazing new feature and somebody, you know, unbeknownst to them, you know, wrote a patent on this feature and never actually implemented it and can now screw them over. It's just, it's not right. It shouldn't exist. But the existence of patents itself, rather than the trading, is what software patents. Yeah, well, software, I mean, software patents in particular, because I think that the the software is not it's not a tangible invention as much as it is, you know, uh, more of an idea. The way I put it was, patenting software is like patenting music. And I don't think many people could imagine how you could patent music. And for the same reason, I can't really imagine how you can patent software. It's called copyright. Copyright. Every industry, 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 Someone who holds 50 patents. <laughs> I'd like to ask you. I mean, this country became an empire because of the patent. And, and I think we, we are losing it right now because uh, we're not continuing to patent as fast as we should. So, since this entire world is turning to be a virtual world and, and, and intangible world, and taking it away or saying that it's not something that is uh, valuable. I mean, if, Chris, if Chris filed a patent for this great new invention, much, uh, shouldn't he get protection for that against other people who come and uh, who try to monetize against him? No, I don't think so. It's my opinion. You have a different opinion, which is you're entitled to, but in my opinion, no. I mean, there are two things. One is the duration of patents. Was, you know, the, the, the software, the internet world moves so much faster that I think even if you argue that you have patent, you might have like a two-year, three-year patent. Something you can talk about like Amazon one place. Um, secondly, so much of this stuff is obvious to anyone who's any practitioner that gets patented. Any, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, as a former software engineer, the stuff I see patented in the software field is totally preposterous. Um, and the patent examiners have no expertise, not enough sufficient to, re to realize this. And yeah, there's supposed to be a process where you can then go challenge it and do prior art and other things, but actually, software startups can't afford to do this, and the way the patent rules go at you, and this happened to a bunch of friends of mine, is they don't go at you, they go at your clients, and they do all sorts of other tricks. To make it just effectively impossible for you to have a fair fight. And you've seen this happen before. Um, and it effectively just ends up, the only people that really seem to be rewarded by it are the non practicing entities, like the, 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 as people call patent controls. I don't see startups. We, we, we do patent aggressively, we have to, uh, defensively. But, uh, but I, I, don't, I would rather it be a world where you can be based on you know, building better stuff. And, uh, I'll tell you. <laughs>